Hello, Candice. How are you? Hey, Danny. I'm doing well. How are you? Hey, everything's going great. Good to hear that. Thanks so much for joining me once again. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. This is always fun. You too. So what are some simple ways we can keep utility bills down this winter? Well, I'll tell you what, it's pretty cool that there's so many ways that you can really drive your heating costs down without spending a penny by just changing a few bad habits. You know, when you don't have a fire in the fireplace, make sure you close your damper so that the heat doesn't escape the room and ride up the chimney. And if you have some large openings like we have here, open the curtains and allow that sun to come in and heat up your room for free. Then at night, close those curtains to trap that heat inside your house. Also, on your thermostat on your heating system, turn it down several degrees. You could even go as low as 66 degrees. Put on one of those nice holiday sweaters and you'll stay comfortable. Temperature-wise, also pretty comfortable knowing that you're saving a um, pretty good bit of money. Another thing a lot of people don't think about is adjusting the temperature on your water heater down to 120 degrees. That'll also save you money 24 hours a day. And how else can those of us on a budget make our homes more energy efficient? Well, if you have just a few dollars to spend, it's probably best to spend it on really sealing up the envelope of your home. And that would start with some of the weather stripping that may be around your windows or doors. If any of that is damaged, replace it. It's very easy and very inexpensive to do. And that'll keep that cold air from influencing your heating cost inside. While you're at it, grab the caulking gun and a few tubes of caulk and you can seal around windows and doors and any penetration that you have in the perimeter of your home, such as a hose bib or a dryer vent, all of that needs to be sealed up. might not seem like it would really make that much of a difference, but everything we're talking about can total up to a pretty significant savings. But your heating system is going to be working overtime during the winter, so you got to take care of your heating system. Best thing you can do is make sure that your furnace filter is changed on a regular basis. Pretty easy. All you do is keep a few of the sizes in, in or a a few of the filters um, in stock around your house. I would suggest an electrostatic filter like this. When it's only $13 or $14, you'll change it every couple months. But it's very effective in preventing that dust from going up into your system, which is going to shorten its life expectancy and also make it less efficient. And if you haven't had a professional heating and cooling contractor to come out to your house and do a full servicing of your system within the past year, that needs to be done as well. That'll make sure that it is working efficiently and very safe for your family. And is it true that programmable thermostats can control heat costs? Yeah, without a doubt, because it allows you to use the thermostat to adapt your heating system to your lifestyle. So if you have a regular work schedule, you can lower the temperature 8 or 10 degrees, something along those lines. It'll save you that money all year, all, all day long. And then before you get home, it'll bump the temperature back up to make it comfortable for you. And these homeowners in this particular house where we've been doing some filming for my television show, they were faced with having to replace their entire system. And they did a lot of homework and they decided on the carrier um, infinity, infinity system and it really did make a big, big difference because this particular one um, starts off with the keypad and uh, the Infinity system is amazing in how it takes you through a very easy to use system that you can control the humidity in the home, the air control, and also the um, zoning in the house, which is real unique. And, of course, Candace, we all love our smartphones, and this even gives you the opportunity to see whatever you're seeing at home on your smartphone and control it. So you can turn the temperature up or down. You can check exactly the humidity in your home, even the temperature outside through your smartphone. Pretty, pretty good idea in being able to control the comfort in your home in this manner. Absolutely. And do you have any additional tips or information like to share with us? Oh, absolutely. I, I'll tell you, you can go to my website at todayshomeowner.com. We, we have all types of information about the Carrier Infinity system, as well as a lot of other tips so that you can just save a little money during the winter months, spend more on the holidays. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much as always, Danny. Happy holidays. Okay. Thanks a lot, Candace. Same to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.